Hi guys, Anthony from The Hot End. Uh, this episode I'm going to discuss an oiler for your 3D printer. You might be thinking, what is an oiler? Here, here's one here, if it'll focus. So all this is, is a uh, basically a container with a nozzle in one end and then uh, a large area here where you can put in some kind of packing material. So in here I just use um, car washing sponge and just rip a chunk off and then feed your filament through there in line from the spool holder to your hot end as as like this now this is going to do a couple of things it's going to dust off the filament that comes from your filament roll through to your extruder because most people myself included um, usually have a, a rack or something on the wall with all your filament lined up, which is fine, but it will gather dust. That dust will then be on your filament and then come into your filament, down to your hot end and can cause jams and print inconsistencies. So this is basically a duster and it dusts your filament off on the way through. Another thing you can, uh, can also do is to put a little bit of oil in here. And what that will do is season the hot end of your printer and allow less pressure to be required to push the filament through. Now this, uh, from my experience, has led to better print quality because it's just more of a consistent flow of plastic and it just, it just works, it just prints. Um, now the oil I use, you can use anything from olive oil, cooking oil, uh, canola oil, uh, vegetable oil, anything really. Um, I've tried a few drops and I've tried saturating it to the point where it's leaking out the bottom. If you use too much, you may get layer separation issues, but uh, that's only if it's literally running out the other end of the nozzle, which is pretty dumb. But um, yeah, I, I can't, can't fault this. It seems to just work. All my printers now run this for the reasons discussed. Um, dusting off your filament, cleaning it up, and just to season the hot end. Now I've got a time lapse of this one going, so let's go to that now. Engage. Okay, so you've seen that it's been printed now and it only took about an hour, hour and a half. Uh, it's just a nice quick print and the links to this will be in the description below. It's just on Thingiverse. There are in excess of, I don't know, about a hundred different iterations of this. Some have threads, some are enclosed. Um, there are some types designed for Bowden, Bowden extruder types. Um, but this one is just a nice simple print, prints easily and it is easy to maintain, to top up a little bit of oil in the top, and it just seems to work awesome. Now, since I've done this, I have noticed a fairly dramatic improvement in the consistency of my printing. So I re would recommend that you just give it a crack. I mean, it doesn't cost anything. Like what's that? A couple of cents worth of plastic. And um, you can use an old bit of sponge or even some cotton or just a bit of old cotton t-shirt or something just rammed in there and the filament go will pass through that and give it a clean on the way through nothing to lose give it a crack thanks guys catch you on the next one 